I just love being around like all my family at Christmas and it's just everyone's like happy. Right now, a young UT fan is going through treatment for a rare type of cancer, but she's getting plenty of support from Vol Nation along the way. 10 News reporter Krista Lucas joins us. Krista, you spoke to Ellie Avila and her family today about her journey. Tell us about it. Yes, Robin, Ellie's mom says she's a social child, so when she was first diagnosed, it was really tough for her, but she likes football, and that's actually where she's drawn some of her strength. Well, I love it. I, I like going to games, you don't know, just watch people run around and fall. It's kind of funny. May of this year, Ellie was diagnosed with myeloplastic syndrome, which basically means her bone marrow isn't making the blood cells that her body needs to fight off infections and disease. It was really scary. I was like, I'm just going to refuse to get chemo because I don't want to lose my hair. Ellie went from going to school, socializing with friends, to total isolation. But watching football distracted her from the loneliness. And then she got a special visit. It was cool because they're like really tall. Some players from the Tennessee Vols and the Titans visited her in the hospital. That helped Ellie in her tough journey. What also helps is her positivity. She's Delighted everybody's day, you know, especially our family. Her uncle says what makes Ellie special is that she has the biggest heart. She'll never say anything bad to you or bad about anybody, and that's what makes her special to me. For Christmas, all Ellie wants is to be with her family, and when she recovers, this is what she hopes to do. I want to be there for other kids that are going through this. Good news in her recovery. Today, Ellie has made it through the first phase of her bone marrow transplant. But she still has a long way to go, Robin. But we are going to cheer her along the way. Thank you so much, Krista, for sharing Ellie's story with us. We appreciate it.